Hello, um, I thought I'd do a screen capture of this uh, Twitter mapping uh, service. I'm using a free trial. It's called Blue Nord. Or Blue Node. Um, I'm helping my friend David Malone, who is um, up for consideration in the leadership um, election for the Green Party. <coughs> and um, I've been working on some social media for David. Um, this is David's blog here, the Gollum X on the uh, blog. You can see a uh, recent post that David's made running for leadership of the Green Party. Uh, property bubbles and banks again. Um, and uh, listening to Brexit. Uh, <clears throat> and there's also a uh, Post further down here, there are two, two videos, one politics, one philosophy, um, which uh, if I just click on here, um, this is a talk that David did, um, which is available on YouTube, Death of Democracy, um, and then this is another video, uh, which was filmed at the Hay and Why uh, Book Festival. So, um, If I just do this here and open my my Twitter account here, um, when you tweet and you put hashtags and whatnot on your your Twitters, um, you can map what people uh, are tweeting about and the links and whatnot. So here you can see I've tweeted one of the maps that I've done on this free trial. You're allowed to do three for free. Um, and uh, here's the tag Malone for Leader, which uh, if you click on it, it goes to uh, the Malone for Leader Twitter account page and you can see here's another one of these maps if I click on that um, and then if I click on the link the map appears now before we actually look at the maps if I can just go here under my account I've done three. I've got um, the Malone for Leader account here. I've got the joint leadership um, account for Caroline Lucas and Jonathan Bartley and then Jonathan's own account. Now Jonathan's got a very active Twitter account and I found that the best one. Uh, for getting a real good idea of the dynamic going on um, and how the linkages work between different people in the Green Party, members, leadership candidates, people uh, with um, office in the Green Party, influencers, etc. Um, so if I just click on David's for now and then we'll build this up to the, the bigger picture. Um, up here there's a custom period window. This window here is quite the top 300 users. If I go to top 500 users and then press visualize um, we'll see how that changes. Uh, not very much is the answer to that on David's account. Uh, so on the map here here's Shah uh, Ali um, who is re-standing for deputy leader along with Amelia Womack up here. Here's David, here's Caroline, here's Natalie Bennett, the retiring leader of the Green Party. Uh, you see then if you click on the people, uh, they, their Twitter account comes up in the left hand corner here. So here's uh, Molly Scott Cater, the Green MEP, um, 
and uh, here's a the, underneath you then get a a list of different tweets that people have made so if we click on Shirar Ali here um, you can see mentions in tweets now you can see I mean what I'm about I'm, I'm helping David with his campaign to raise his profile this is me with my family on our wedding day uh, which was this time last year um, and you can actually zoom in and out if you click on a particular person you can then see where those linkages actually go um, here's Derek Wall um, it's quite interesting to look at Derek on Jonathan's map is, is, is you can see you know what an influencer and how influential he is in in, in, in the Green Party um, so if we just now open up well actually just so that we can have a look let's have a look at uh, this is the Lucas and Bartley Twitter account for their joint campaign for co-leader custom period you can see it's just for the month of July to date so this is the last two weeks you can sort of go back and whatever let's just put that up to top 500 users press visualize and then let's just go in here now so up here you can see the different followers there's there's David um, here's Derek and uh, here we are here is David Williams um, he's another one of the leadership candidates Clive Lord here, another one of the leadership candidates. Here's Caroline and here's Jonathan. Um, this is uh, Nathaniel Higgins, who uh, is, is, is quite active and an and, uh, influential young member of the Green Party. Um, you see, the, this map is... is not really doing a lot I mean Caroline and uh, Jonathan are clearly really busy with other things um, and uh, if we go to the this map though um, you get a really interesting picture then um, of the conversation on Twitter within the Green Party um, with um, what's going on and then this is really quite a powerful and, and, and detailed map uh, so if we click on Caroline you can see here um, we can zoom in a bit more look and you can see uh, the the connections coming in and out uh, here so here's my account if we just come in a bit and uh, where did I go to find me again so if you go in the tweets here you can find uh, people that appear so that that's me here so if I go on there um, you can see how that is kind of in between Caroline and Jonathan here um, and then if we just click on uh, Jonathan here um, actually So 
here's the David H Malone account that's David's Twitter account here's Clive Lord up here and then here's Jonathan here it hardly surprisingly with it being Jonathan's account of the main thing he's kind of in, in, in the middle of of things here and then Caroline's over here um, I'm in the middle here this represents kind of the geography of, of where who, someone is tweeting and sending tweets to different people um, you can see David's over here in his grouping um, and you know it's not surprising to see Caroline in the middle here let's see if we can find uh, here's Natalie is here uh, now obviously this is over the custom period um, if you change the period at when different things are happening um, for instance if you did this for the period of May 2015 during the general election you'd probably sort of see different patterns um, but it's it's been helpful uh, for me in trying to identify uh, areas where <coughs> or groupings of people in the membership um, to, to see if we can address that grouping in different areas of Green Party policy interest um, where uh, David's particular expertise on finance and economics could be um, uh, helpful to, to the debate um, and um, as I say this 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 is you get a free 14 day trial period with with this um, and it really is quite an interesting way to build up a map of uh, traffic between different uh, different key players influ influencers and uh, interested uh, individuals that, 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 that um, are seeking information about you know the wide range of, of um, Green Party policy. Now, <clears throat> so I mean, click away. I mean, it's it's uh, it it really is fun. You can make your own maps. Um, it's quite easy to do, um, and you can look at this account online. Look at the three maps that I've made. You're limited to doing three maps. Um, uh, so so let's just let's just go in a bit more again and see. Uh, There we are. So what's this? Um, game developer Dan. Uh, learning German. Based in Bristol, which is where I used to live in the UK. I'm actually based here in Sweden. And I shall press follow there. The Green Party is obviously up and coming and doing very well in Bristol, which is all good news. Um, so thinking out loud, but hopefully people will find this application of some interest and um, if you do want to find out more about David's positions um, his expertise on TTIP is uh, certainly in advance of, 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 of most expertise on the subject in the UK um, and